Hey, Renee, my name is Erin. I'm with Duff Digital Marketing, and you had spoken with my partner and husband, Rob, on Facebook. So as promised, I'm shooting you this short video just to give you a few tips on how to help grow your business online. And I will keep this short, but if by the end of the video, you can tell that that is certainly something that we specialize in, and that's something that you're interested in doing for your business, please reach out to us and we can chat. And if not, no worries. I hope you're able to take these tips I'll give you and put them into action. But the three things that we're going to be going over are going to be content, citations, and backlinks. So first up is going to be content, and I do have your Facebook page here. And Facebook is a very powerful tool. There's no doubt about it. But the first place that people are typically going to go when they're looking for services is usually Google. And when they get their search results, they typically want to have a website to click on. That way they can learn more about your company and about the services that you offer. So just in the interest of speaking about content, I did pull up one of the competitor sites here. Uh, and content would be considered anything you can see here. It does include the words, but also the pictures and what the pictures are saved as. And Google wants to see about 1500 words on the homepage of a website. But within those 1500 words, that gives you the opportunity to be able to integrate in keywords that people are searching for when they're looking for your services. So my suggestion would absolutely be to get a website. If that's not something that's already in the works for you all, um, that would be the first thing that I would suggest doing. Not only does it serve as a digital business card for you, but it truly is the first step in getting ranked on Google. But we will go ahead and move on to the next thing. Let me just get back to my search results here. So the next thing we'll talk about is going to be citations. And this section has a lot to do with that. This is called the map pack. And a citation is basically your business name, address, and phone number listed in various directories throughout the web. And when I say directory, I really mean things like Facebook, LinkedIn, Yelp, Yellow Pages, really anywhere else that will allow a business to enter those details. Um, so you would wanna check out where your competitors are being listed and you want to grab those listings for your business. But then you want to double, triple, quadruple where you're found. So for instance, if your top competitor has 10 directory listings, you wanna grab those 10 and then you want to add another 20, 30, 40. That's gonna have you completely dominating them in that space, but it will also help you to rank high on the maps here. So moving on to the next thing, which is backlinks. And backlinks have a lot to do with this section. This is called the organic section. And the way that backlinks work is there is a website out there that has a link to your site. And it's pushing power to your site, but it's also potentially driving traffic to it. But not all backlinks are created equal. So let's say that you did some flooring for someone who owns an ice cream shop. And they've decided that they're going to take a link from their site and send one back to yours but their link is going to be all about ice cream. So it's not gonna be very helpful. You would want to get a link from other flooring companies that send something back to your site and signals to Google that that is the industry that you're in. That's gonna be a lot more powerful, but also more unique because it is relevant to your industry. And this is one of the tools that I use here just so I can give you a visual representation. So this is the website that we just looked at and it's showing currently that site has 16 referring domains which are giving it 1.47 thousand backlinks, getting it found for 84 keywords, and all of that is driving about 35 people to this site per month. So let's see if we can take a look at the keywords that they're using, and that way I can kind of give you guys some ideas here. So let's see. So it looks like they're ranking for their business name, which is not surprising. Um, here's a good one, Reclaimed Wood Sanford. So this would be a good one because it's listing the industry or the service, but then it's also listing the specific location that this company is trying to target. Um, and you can target multiple different locations. You just wanna make sure that whatever location you're trying to target is obviously within your service area. That way when someone does find you, they will be able to use you because you are close enough to them as well. Um, so I'm not gonna bore you and have us go through all of these keywords, but I do hope it at least kind of gives you an idea of the types of things you would want to integrate into the content if and when you all do decide to get a website. Um, and truly in order to beat out your competition, you just wanna make sure that you're being found in a lot of the same places they are. Um, but as we spoke about earlier as well, also making sure that you're always adding on to that, that way you're far surpassing your competitors because that is the kind of thing that gets you on that first page of Google.
But that is all that I have for you today, Renee. I do hope that this video was helpful. And if you would like to know more about Duff Digital Marketing and how we can help grow your business via your online presence, please contact us because we would love to talk to you. Um, but thanks again for taking the time to watch this. And I hope that you all have a fantastic rest of your week.